So we are building an art business online and that is really exciting. So you could be starting from scratch or already have an existing business and you're trying to transition online. Either way, one thing has become really, really clear after years of consulting with artists and having my own art myself. There's just an overwhelming amount of tips and tricks and advice out there about how to build your business online. So why make another video to add to the pile of information out there about how to grow online? I wanna offer something a little bit more deep and it's the perspective that I gained from when I first started this business, which was in 2016, I thought, if only artists had the right information. And with my education and my consulting background and my corporate background and my experience of being an artist myself, that I could be a good person to offer this information up. And eventually I realized, you know, after creating so much content that the actual transformation to help artists get to the next level wasn't because of a lack of information, it was because there was too much information. It was so overwhelming, and it still is, the amount of, of things that you're supposed to be doing. So because artists are getting pulled in all these different directions about things that you should be doing to grow your business, you're not able to get momentum through one strategy because you just keep hopping from one strategy to the next thinking that that's what you need and that's the magic formula. For example, you, he you start a blog and then you hear that blogs are dead and that you need a podcast instead or you find a really successful artist that you love and their website is way better than yours. So you go back to your website and you start redesigning yours to look like theirs or you hear that you need to join TikTok or post more Instagram Reels or figure out what a funnel is and then implement it. And that list of things that you should be doing just goes on and on and on. Shiny object syndrome is definitely real and it happened to me. So after realizing all this, and I'm still trying to figure out why it took me so long to realize this, it kind of became clear that artists needed the space and less information and more space to be able to create something really meaningful. So I created the seven day online artist plan and it's a really quick, straightforward plan that's all about getting focused, conquering shiny object syndrome and clearing all that so that you can really lay the groundwork to having a really strong brand. Of course, I'm gonna mention that in a video about how to grow an online business because I don't think it's more information that artists need typically. I think it's more the space and the framework. So that's what the seven day online artist plan is. If you're not gonna take the seven day online artist plan, obviously there's still really great ways to build your business online. But instead of adding to those tips and tricks and advice, I am gonna say something that I think is more important and it's to experiment. Experiment with everything. Try something, try it all the way through, wait a few weeks, maybe months, depending on the strategy and measure those results. Gain insights from that and then apply it to your next strategy or double down on that if you notice something about that, that that got you the results that you were looking for. Let's say you tried something and nothing happened and you did that 10 different times and you tried 10 different things and nothing happened. Something definitely happened. You got some sort of insight that you can use to apply to your next strategy. So make sure also that you're trying something long enough. Let's say that you started an Etsy store and you got 100 site visits and only one sale. So you're like, this isn't for me. Um, clearly that didn't work. A good conversion rate is 1%. That's from not just an Etsy store, but it could be from your email subscribers. For every 100, you might have one that converts into a sale or one that reaches out, one that moves to the next step in whatever your marketing funnel is. It could be 100 people see your blog post and one person signs up for your freebie that goes to your email list. Keep in mind that conversion and realize that you need a bigger amount of volume than most people realize to be able to actually have results that are measurable. One thing is for sure, you can have a really successful art business online if you treat everything like a scientist, tried something, didn't work, tried something, kind of worked, gonna do that more, 
Just keep tweaking until you find the right formula for you. But when you don't get focused on one strategy long enough to actually see it through, you just spin your wheels in a million different directions and you only make incremental progress because you're only able to spend so much time on a strategy before you hop to the next shiny object. So which bits of information are even the most important? Which ducks are you even supposed to be getting in a row? Because in addition to all of this marketing, you're also an artist and you wanna be creating art too. So this truly is a lot of work, but frameworks like the seven day online artist plan shows you which ducks to get in a row and how to get them in a row. And all of this saves you time so you can focus on the actual art that you wanna be making. I don't wanna say that the seven day online artist plan is quick and dirty, but that's essentially what it is. It's a crash course in how to build a strong online brand. And people put blood, sweat, and tears into building amazing businesses, and it definitely doesn't take seven days. But the framework that some of these businesses are built on can definitely be laid in seven days. I know that another roadblock for artists getting the business and branding and marketing help that they need is that hiring a consultant to get you to that next level is expensive and I know this because I'm that expensive consultant and it's worth every penny but what if you don't have those pennies or you don't have the faith or the guarantee that you're gonna get the return on investment in the time frame that you needed to come back to you in so I wanted to create a really accessible low price option for people who weren't ready for whatever reason to commit to one-on-one -on -one consulting or invest in a big program. So that's also the purpose of the seven day online artist plan. So if you're not even sure if your business is set up correctly or if you're missing something or if there's an easier way to do something that you're doing, the seven day online artist plan tackles that in one to two hours a day for seven days. So you don't have to do it for seven days in a row, but I do recommend that so that you can build momentum and you don't fall down any rabbit holes because the topic of each day, any one of these days, people can spend years on and I personally have spent way too long on each one of these steps. All this sounds great and all, but why take this particular course and why should you believe that I can help you? Evergrey, which is the brand that I created this course under, is a little bit different probably than what you're used to seeing out there. The first is that this is specifically this whole company created to help artists with business branding and marketing. And right now, what you're mostly seeing in the space of how to build your business online are coming from perspectives and voices that are not taking into account that you're also an artist. And that typically comes with deep time intensive work in addition to all this marketing. Two, I'm not an artist trying to teach business without a business background, and I'm also not a business person who doesn't understand the artist's perspective. I'm an artist myself that studied business marketing and then also worked for years in the corporate and consulting world doing all of the above. So that gives me a lot of different angles and perspectives to work with. Three, I am a female that's not a big fan of ingenuine bro marketing, which is just the egotistical hard selling stuff that you see everywhere. I really stick to authentic feeling, value-based strategies, even if it means leaving money on the table because business ethics are important to me. So in the spirit of keeping things focused, if you are looking to get on track with building your art business online and you wanna bring true value to your audience and you wanna save time without spending a lot of money and then also build a strong supportive patronage online, then the seven day online artist plan will likely help you. And that link is below. You can get instant access and literally start your journey in the next minute. It's also super, super helpful if you subscribe to this channel on YouTube so that you can support brands like this who have a deep love and appreciation for art. And that's all. I hope you have a great day.